Hi guys, welcome to another FIFA 21 video and today guys I'm going to be showing you on how to get, how to unlock the new footies favourite objective Tavernier from range. It looks absolutely insane and I'm going to show you guys on how best to be able to get them as quickly as possible. Now thankfully there are only four objectives to this Tavernier card uh, and it can be done either in rivals or in squad battles. If you want to do them as quick as possible... It's got to be done in squad battles. I understand playing in squad battles can be a little bit boring. I'll explain ways and how to sort of make the the grind of squad battles a little bit more fun in a second. Or certainly what I do when I go on. Because I'll be completing these cards as soon as I finish this video. And have a review on him hopefully later on tonight. But uh, if you go into rivals, it's not often that people quit. And obviously a lot of these challenges won't be as easy to be able to complete in rivals as what they are in squad battles. So the first thing you want to do is you want to play them in squad battles. And there are four objectives which we'll quickly go through first and I'll show you how to be able to complete them as quick as possible. So the first one is score a goal of a defender in six separate squad battle wins on minimum world class uh, on minimum world class difficulties. That's either with full backs or left back or right back or with centre backs. Now the easy way to be able to do this, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already got at least some half decent uh, full backs in your team. Uh, I'll show you what you want to do with the full backs in a second. Basically you would want to start them in their natural position so left back and right back and then move them up to a striker position or to a winger position at the start of the game so you're able to score goals with them pretty easily and you will have to do that on world-class difficulty there are easier teams to be able to do it on world-class difficulty than some other teams so i'll explain that in a second the next one is assist 15 goals uh, in squad battles you'll just do that very easily it's not like you have to do it in separate matches it can just come technically could all come in one game but uh, you'll just get that as you're completing the other objective so that one's very very easy uh, assist with crosses in four separate squad battles matches are on professional difficulty you don't want to start doing these ones on professional or anything like that you want to make sure you're doing it on world class so you do all of them at once so don't play any games on professional play them all on world class to be able to complete this objective um and all three of them all the others are actually on professional but you want to make sure you're playing on world class difficulty to get this one done first uh so the first objective is in separate games uh, the second one, there's no uh, game amount for it. The third one is in four separate matches. And the final one is in 12 separate matches. And that's going to take a while. Now, usually every single game will probably, you know, depending on how many goals you kind of score and how, how often the ball goes out of play. Typically, a game of FIFA should be no more than 15 minutes in squad battle. So if we do 15 times 12, that will come out on a calculator that I'm doing right now. That comes out at 180 minutes. So that is what, like two and a half hours to be able to unlock him? Uh, of grinding, give or take a little bit. It's around about two and a half hours to be able to get this card, maybe slightly more, slightly less than that, uh, depending on, on, on how... Um how efficient you are getting the challenges done. And that final challenge is score using English players in 12 separate matches. So actually the objectives in, in, in general aren't too hard to be able to do. And I'll show you the team that I'll be using in a second, but... You know, you don't really need that many specific players. You only need, like, specific nation players you need is English. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, English is, a, is an easy nation to be able to come by. But obviously, you want to be doing it in squad battles. I wouldn't personally do it in division rivals. And uh, there's no real other reason to be able to play squad battles at this stage of the game. So the chances are most of you people probably haven't even played any squad battle matches this week. But you don't want to be playing against the featured team, which is obviously is a 94-rated team there. You don't want to be playing against these final two teams because they're too insane. You don't want to be coming up on world-class difficulty against the Firmino and Messi and, uh, and the Maradona. Now, I would be able to beat this team on world-class difficulty difficulty but it would be far easier for me to be able to complete the challenges on these two teams because they lack in like a lot of chemistry and stuff like that so for example okay this one's an 88 rated team but the, the team itself won't play too well because it's only got 49 chemistry uh, and then the same again for this team. If this isn't like a very good team at all. You know, there's a bronze goalkeeper and a silver striker in sentiment position. So you want to always be playing these top two teams. And as I said before, it's a maximum of 12 games and you've got 40 to play this. So even if you're skipping through and only playing these two teams, you'll still be able to get it done. Even if you're refreshing it and you update opponents by pressing X at the bottom of the screen there. Now, in terms of teams you want to be able to do and how you want to get the defenders done. So the defenders challenge was, or the defenders objective was to score six goals with defenders in six separate matches. And, I mean, if you've got someone like a Paredes, for example, all you do is you'd start them. You don't want to start them in a different position because if you start them there, they won't count as a defender. So you'd start your fullback there and then in-game you'd move them up to a winger or you could even move them up to a striker. And that is basically how you go about completing it. I personally wouldn't enc uh, wouldn't encourage you guys to use centre-backs. I mean, some centre-backs can have some decent shooting stats like Mina here with 71. But realistically, your fullbacks are typically going to be the ones that are going to be better in terms of having shooting stats and stuff like that. And they're being a little bit more composed in like the in like the uh, you know the box and stuff like that. So they're the players that you want to be trying to score the goals with. And in terms of the crosses, you want to run a formation something like the 4-2-4 because it's brilliant in that the full 
four backs are very, very attacking. You've got your wingers there, and then there's two central base players that you can put crosses into. So having people like Marcus Alonso and Adama Traore with absolutely insane pace to link into players of Henri and Timo Werner that are very, very good in the air uh, and just in general around the box, being able to meet like the ball, uh, you know, to be able to finish off goals. So running a formation at the 4-2-4 is probably the best one, or at least a formation with wingers. So the 4-3-3 formation would be another decent one. In terms of your English players, I have a few English players on the bench room, like a few of the English loan SBCs, and there's also, uh, I've got two sentiment to start up here. So I can, first of all, um, I can very, very easily you know, go and sub on an English player into the team once I've done some of the other objectives, like scoring with the, you know, with the defender, getting some of the assists done through crosses and stuff like that. And that is basically some of the quickest ways to be able to complete this, uh, to be able to complete the objective. And obviously, over like potentially two and a half hours of gameplay will take a while, of course it will. But the ways to make that quicker are to just put something in the background in terms of Netflix, listen to podcasts. I either listen to po well, a mixture of podcasts and watching stuff on YouTube. I personally don't watch a TV series when I'm playing it because... Uh, I, I if I'm playing on world if I was playing on professional, there's a massive difference between professional and world class. World class, you kind of have to pay attention to the match. Uh, if it's professional, it's it's very very easy. You don't really have to pay attention. And um, but because one of the objectives is on world class, I I can't really sit there and get into a TV series at the same time because I'm having to focus a little bit too much on the screen. But having stuff like a simple YouTube video or a podcast in the background certainly does help a little bit in just reducing that. Uh, in terms of reducing that time. So this is a card that you can get done in around about two and a half hours time um, using the the, the, the the exact things, the exact team and what I'm planning to do. That's what I'm going to do as soon as I've done this video right now and upload it to you guys. And I'll have a review, hopefully on him, a little bit later on tonight. It will be quite late, like half nine, ten o'clock because I have to have some food and stuff like that. But I will uh, make sure I will have a review on him later on tonight. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.